Is one night at Aulani enough? We're about to find out. Come with us as we fly to Honolulu and spend about 26 hours at Disney's Aulani Resort. We're staying in an Ocean View studio, eat dinner at the Olelo Room, and spend our day in the Lazy River before island hopping to Kauai. Good morning, it's 5.30 a.m. and we're flying from LAX to Honolulu, flying with Delta. We parked in the economy lot, let's get through security and head to the lounge. Since it's a six hour flight, we wanted to eat breakfast and maybe grab a croissant for later. The lounge has many offerings from breads, yogurt, fruit, charcuterie, and pastries. The gluten-free banana chocolate muffins are my favorite. But one of the best things in here is the breakfast taco bar. And of course, AJ had to grab himself a morning beverage to kick off our vacation. If you are new here, hello, my name is Ivy. Traveling with my fiance, AJ, we have one day at Alani. So we're gonna do as much as we can before we island hop, because this vacation is actually Kauai, um, but we decided to squeeze in a little Alani time while we were out there. The Lazy River is calling my name. Let's go. Our flight is boarding. It's so not like us. But well, it's we're not. We're not near the front of the plane. <laughs> Row 35, we got some time. We have the outdoor space at the airport. It's super nice out. It's not very humid. It's gorgeous. Out. It's like warm, yeah. breezy. Yeah. Clouds that are going to ruin our Alani sunset again. <laughs> we just have to come back for more than one day. Our next trip to Alani is AJ says that we need to come for at least five nights, and I don't disagree. We just have to figure out. I mean, that won't be this year. Maybe next year. We also, and by we, I mean I, did not look up where we're supposed to go for the rental cars. And we haven't seen a sign yet, so we're just going with the flow. Luckily, the rental car the rental car garage was right outside of the Delta Terminal. I thought that the last time we were here. We just had to make our way outside. We found it. All right, we're back at Hertz. I used my points for our rental. So that was really exciting. We got, I had one day free. We're only here for one day. So it all worked out. President Circle. Well, I don't want the Jeep. Let's see, our options are regular Mustang, four-door Jeep, that's intense. What is this, is this a Chevy? Oh, it's a Dodge Challenger. Oh, Dodge. You want an Altima or a convertible Mustang? Uh, we're not driving anywhere where to use the convertible. Yeah, Altima yeah. works. Nissan, handy dandy. Nissan seems to be our rental car of choice. Thank you. 
so pretty. We were not planning on coming back so soon and I like just want to cry. <laughs> we checked in with a wonderful cast member named Michelle. She was super nice. We are finding a bathroom, we are changing, and we are getting into that lazy river. Probably after I go to the gift shop. That is the rule of Alani. If you see something, you have to buy it because it won't be there long. So, shop a room. We just walked into the gift shop. This is for Chris, who watches the videos. I just stopped in for an ornament. Let's see, we got the lamp last time. I feel like the mouse ears are the way to go. There's some DVC merch, but as soon as I walked in, I saw this. And I think this is uh, what I'm going to get this trip. At one o'clock, we received the text that our room was ready. I'm shocked that both times we've been to Alani, our room has been ready really early. So we were just changing downstairs in the lobby bathroom. And just as I walked out, I got the text. So let me show you our room. Today we are staying in a deluxe ocean view studio. Um, it's beautiful. So when you walk in, there is a closet here on the right. This is where you have your ironing board, your safe, your luggage rack. Well, this is in here. We have our kitchenette right next to it. So with a studio, it's not a full kitchen, just a little kitchenette, microwave, empty cupboards. <laughs> oh, I brought a tea kettle. I didn't have to. Well, I think I might need it for later in our trip, but tea kettle, wine glasses, paper goods, and a toaster. Here we have our coffee pot, tea and coffee, and then we have a fridge. This is a good size compared to some of the studios at Disney World. It's like a legit fridge. Oh, weird little drawer. And trash underneath. Across from the kitchenette, we have our bathroom. This is a good size bathroom too. So lots of counter space, which is nice. I don't need a double vanity. I just need counter space. We have a bathtub shower combo with a rainfall shower head. And then look at these products. I can't remember what was in here last time, but those look very nice. And I also like that they have liquid hand soap super super nice touch and then on this side the commode they're doing construction literally right, right outside of our room <laughs> okay well we'll carry on here we have a full length mirror for your full fit check moments this is a adjoining room so this will connect to a one bedroom then we have our queen size bed, only one nightstand. You know that that's kind of my thing is, I hope that's not that big. Do you hear that banging? He's replacing the, uh, the floorboard between my room and the next room. <laughs> uh, and then we have a couch. It's a pullout couch to another queen size bed. And this sleeps four. It does not sleep five. There is not the little pull down here. So we have a standard dresser a nice little table and the iconic Alani lamp. Here's a shot of our room from the other side. So very spacious. We could definitely do a week in here, no problem, but let's get to the best part. Look at that view. Oh my gosh. We can see everything at Alani. So you can see the lagoon. You can see the pools. There's lots of lines for characters out there. Oh my goodness. And my favorite part, say hi, AJ. 
<laughs> so our balcony is a long rectangular balcony and the majority of the balconies that are on the other towers and over are like these little triangles and I find them to be very odd and not as comfortable. Oh. Dude, here we are. See, AJ's looking at the koi fish. They are big koi fish. Oh, we have Chippendale down here, meeting and greeting. All right, let's go. Let's go vibe with Alani. I think the other thing about our room that's going to be really nice is the live music is happening like right downstairs. So we could at some point come back to our room and sit on the balcony and still and hear the live the music live. from the Olelo room. Uh, that's a good point. This will do. I'm sad it's only one night. Right? We need this room on our next trip. <sighs> we need to request this room. Yeah. <laughs> we check out our room. We parked the car, so we did self-parking, and when you're staying on DVC points, you get free parking. So that's why a one day free car rental, free parking, it beat uh, the potential cost of any Uber or Lyft. Now to the pool deck. I think the hardest thing at Alani is finding pool chairs. And after a couple of circles, we finally made it to a spot where people were getting up. So we were able to snag the chairs. So I'm going to switch to the GoPro. We're going to go in the lazy river. On the lazy river. The only thing that would make this better is if you could have drinks and snacks because I could go for one of those like frozen minty coconut drinks while floating down in the lazy river. Yeah, I'm really gonna need like five days in the future. Also, this trip, I bought water socks. So the last trip, the bottom of the lazy river really hurt my feet. And now I feel so much better. My feet can drag along the bottom. It doesn't hurt at all. So if anyone out here watches wrestling, I started being exposed to the world of WWE with AJ and his boys. And there's a wrestler named Kevin Owens who's here and cut in front of AJ to get a tube. And I said, what, are you gonna fight him? And he let him take the tube. It was for his kid. It was for his kid, it was fine. Uh, we've just about done two laps. I think we need some food. Yeah? Are you hungry? Yes. Most definitely. I think we need to an eat and a drink. And then we'll feel a little bit better about the world. After two laps in the lazy river, we stopped back at our chairs really quick. These water socks, they were $6 on Amazon and they were fantastic because the bottom of the lazy river tore at my feet last time. So, well, we're at the $6. But they have a poolside menu and they come around and do service. So we have in here some nice appetizers. So cauliflower, onion rings, that's what we got. The pot stickers, chicken wings, nachos, pokey nachos, ooh, pizzas. Then we have salads. You can add protein to them, any chicken, local catch fish, uh, garlic shrimp, all sorts of nice greens. There's desserts and then some more of the heartier savory entrees. So we got the chicken salad sandwich today. There's some tacos, 
a nice steak and cheese sandwich, and a, of course, a burger and chicken strips. Now they do have a cocktail menu. This is kind of the standard cocktail menu for the resort and the same cocktails they have it off the hook. AJ got the coconut mint mojito. I think the tropical itch is one that they also serve at Tangaroa Terrace, right? Yeah, and, uh, they also and Trader Sam's. Like that at, uh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. call it something else over there. But they won't come in the back like that. More of the fruitier tropical beverages here. I love a virgin lava flow. They also have beer, premium beer, and draft beer, as well as wine. Not a big wine selection. Thank you so much. They also have a kid's menu, so if you need to order anything for little ones. And then the non-alcoholic beverages. This is what I order off of. And I loved the lime and the coconut last time. Very similar to the drink that AJ's getting. So what she said she would do is that she would do the coconut mint mojito and do one with alcohol and one without. So super excited for that. So for one entree, one appetizer, and then two beverages, one alcoholic and one without, after tip, it was $70.51. Now like, okay, so in my last video, someone was like, why do you keep talking about how expensive things are? It's because I was unprepared and I like sharing information that I wish I knew or I wish someone told me. There is a Disney tax and there is a Hawaii tax in life, but I feel like so many of the prices here go beyond what I would have expected to be in that realm. So I was just caught off guard my first trip. Luckily, we were only here for three days. We spent so much more in those three days than I was expecting. Maybe that is the good thing about us only being here for 24 hours this time. But again, I just like to share the things that I wish I would have heard and the things that I w wish I knew going into my vacation. So that's all. It's not a complaint. It's just a sharing of information. So we got our onion rings. And man, these onion rings, I don't know what the is about them. I think about them all the time. I also think about this jalapeno ranch, which is so good. And then we also got this chicken salad sandwich on ciabatta with a pesto aioli and fries. Here are our drinks. They look almost the same. <laughs> so my cup is just a little bit different. That way I knew which cup was mine, which one is AJ's. So happy. So the pool chair rules. You can't claim a chair before 8 a.m. You must check back in your chair. And if your chair is empty for one hour, they'll fold your towel. And if it stays empty for another hour, they'll remove your stuff, but you can get it back. So that's a, the pool chair rules. Now this pool over here was closed when we were here in August, or when were we here? October. So AJ and I figured we would go check out the sights. Well, we strolled on down to the beach and the beach that is down just below Alani has all of these dome tan umbrellas. That's supposed to be for all Alani guests the square tan umbrellas further in the distance are for the Four Seasons, but the beach is actually a public beach, so anyone can come and visit any part of the beach. Just can't use all of the same facilities um, at any of the hotels or like at Alani. There's tons of families out here. Lots of families in the grass that went and got lunch at Ulu Cafe and it is shaping up to be a really beautiful afternoon. Next to Alani is this little chapel and AJ is trying to convince me to plan a wedding here. I, at no point did I say babe we should plan a wedding here. At no point did I say would you like to get married here. I said I bet you with that big glass window and this in the distance it makes for beautiful wedding photos. That's what I said. 
But what you really meant was... <clears throat> no, I, I just made an observation. Mm. It's 3.30. We're trying to figure out our game plan for the What's rest the of the day. What's the game plan? We don't have a lot of plans. Um, I would like to meet Donald Duck at 6.30. Oh, and sunsets at 6.45? Yeah. And then we're going to eat dinner. Uh-huh. So, so we, we have, have a tentative, we have a kind of plan. Yeah, not until like 6.15 when I go line up to meet Donald. And at some point before then, I would also like to go to the gift shop. Yeah. That, that's all we got so far. <laughs> if you watched our last Galani vlog, you knew that I was in the hunt for a rash guard. And look, they have a new one. It has Mickey on the front. It says Alani on the back. It's this really pretty Cascade Neon. They only have it in a small, so. So sad. Still on the hunt for an Alani rash guard. But they have all sorts of cute sort of stuff. I said, I wish Alani had, had coffee. And uh, I wish Island Vintage Coffee was still open across the street. And AJ said, why don't we just drive to the new one? It's 10 minutes away. So I ordered an Island Latte. AJ originally ordered the like mocha macadamia nut drink. Yeah. He didn't know it came blended. No. I don't like blended drinks, so we, now we have three coffees. Ivy was like, I'll drink it. So I got a cold brew with macadamia nut no milk. The last time we were here, I told AJ that I wanted Wishables. But we spent so much money on everything else, we didn't buy any Wishables. And he just went to the gift shop and came back with these two. This feels like one you're going to want to open. Okay. You ready? Yeah. I'm hoping for Spam... No, no. <laughs> do you want Spam or Super or do you want Shave Ice? I don't know. I'll be happy with either one. I just want Goofy. You want Goofy. Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Yes. I got chipmunk. I got goofy. See, I was right. I felt that and I said, you're going to want to open oh, this one. this makes me so happy. But I, I do like, which I one mean, is this? Chip? It's chip. Chip. Chip's super cute. Yeah. But it's weird they don't make Dale. Yeah. They have no friends. And there's only four, so now do we need to go squeeze some packages to find shave ice? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if you look at these bags and like how crinkled they are, Everyone feels these bags for Spam Masubi. That's, that's fact. Right, we regrouped in the room for a bit. Properly caffeinated. Yeah, coffee, freshened up. Now we're going out. Ooh, that sun's so bright. So pretty out here. The weather is wonderful. We love golden hour at Alani. Oh, it's so pretty. Also update. We're not meeting Donald. He's in the kids' club. Kids. They get I want to go stuff. to Auntie's beach house. It's fine. Um, the last time we were at Alani, we had fully cloudy, terrible sunsets. Terrible. It is a clear sky now. We're headed to the beach. Sunsets in about a half an hour. What a beautiful view. There's stories by the fire right now. So it's 6.30. Sunset is in about 15 minutes. There's a couple Alani photo pass photographers out on the beach taking photos with families. That's just a lovely vibe out here. Lots of people dressed up to go to the luau. I think we need to strategically plan a way to come here for a week, but stay in a studio 
hear me out, because we, we can't stay in a one bedroom for that long. It's a lot of points to do it. We would have the kitchen, but. So this is my point. I think we need to strategically plan a week in a studio, but be able to map out food that only requires a fridge, microwave, or toaster. Right. It's not impossible. And to keep costs down, take advantage of the happy hours. Yes. But we could also like not do lunch by the pool. That would save us $70. It would. So we could do simple things like if we went to the grocery store and got a rotisserie chicken, we could make chicken salad and have chicken salad sandwiches. Like sure. it doesn't have to be, we're not, doesn't have to go to peanut butter and jelly. Right. To be cost saving. But, but I'm saying instead of going to like $100 dinners, hit up happy hour. Everyone tells me to go over there to the Four Seasons. Mina's Fish House. Mina's Fish House has a fantastic happy hour. Everybody tells me. So we got to go there. And last time we went to Monkey Pod twice twice and i would totally go there every trip here. and then both of the restaurants across the street the mexican food restaurant and uh -huh. the like farm to table restaurant they have happy they hour also. Have happy hour also so we could um i love an early dinner we could eat early but that's where i think it requires a little bit more like thoughtful planning sure. than this last minute two weeks notice <laughs> let's go to alani let's for a also day also hit up alani for a day <laughs> If you guys have done this, like I know there's so many people out there that practice cost saving techniques when it comes to food specifically at Alani. If you've done this, leave a comment down below because I would love to learn some of these things. Like I know there's the grills out here, um, which would be really super fun to grill. Yeah. Um, you know, but it, it's going to require some planning. So if you have any tips for us, let us know. Well, the sun is almost all the way beneath the waterline. This was much better than our last trip here. Oh, a thousand percent. It was very pretty. Very pretty. And now uh, it's time for us to go venture and look for some dinner. Although I'm not like super hungry, but if I don't eat now. Yeah, we need to eat. <laughs> we need to eat something. So we are headed to the Alillo room and it's the lounge bar with the live music, which I love. Look at how decorated Stitch is today. Oh, I love this. Everyone giving their, their lays back to the island, leaving them with Stitch. I love this. The Olelo Room is located next to Makahiki. To see information on Makahiki's prefix dinner, check out the link in the comments below for our previous Alani trip. Olelo is the Hawaiian word for language, and the lounge is designed to showcase the Hawaiian language. There are carvings with the Hawaiian word underneath each one. It's interesting and fun to learn. This is a great spot whether it's to grab a cocktail, some appetizers, or even dinner. There is live music on the patio and the ambiance can't be beat. They are known for their freshly made sushi and have a selection of ahi, sushi rolls, and nigiri-style sushi. For non-fish eaters like me, there are great appetizers to choose from, and they also feature the same desserts as makahiki. They have a handcrafted cocktail menu with more unique choices than off the hook and the pool bar. The Olelo Room is my dinner location of choice on property. AJ got the Godzilla roll. I think the best part about it is look at this wasabi. Mickey, how cute is that? Very cute. What is in your roll? Spicy ahi, red crab, avocado, kabayaki, bang bang sauce with crunchy tempura flake on top. Oh, I see that on top. And because he got sushi, he got the infamous Mickey chopsticks. Man, I feel so much pressure being on camera to use chopsticks properly. Wow. That bang bang sauce gives it like this really nice spice, but then the avocado cools it down and then you got the texture of the tempura crunch. This is so fresh tasting. Like they make the sushi fresh to order here. They do it on display. It's like amazing, but I didn't try it last time we were here and I was mad at myself for it. I am so glad I got this right now. So delicious. 
I got the karage chicken. I love karage chicken. I got the pineapple ginger splash ginger ginger splash it's pineapple juice and ginger ale and then aj got the old-fashioned which has the house-made macadamia nut syrup in it it's called the old koa canoe and they batch it and hold it in oak barrels oh nice well it is 8 30 p.m here in hawaii and our evening is coming to an end we had dinner down in the olelo room which was so delicious it was funny because when we got our bill, our total was exactly the same amount that our lunch was. And so for dinner, AJ had the sushi, I had the Krage chicken, we each had a drink. Um, the value of dinner and the quality leaps and bounds over lunch. So that was a good lesson um, of just like where we may want to spend our, our funds in the future. And then hit up the gift shop, perused around a little bit. There are less things in the gift shop this trip than there were in October, um, which is disappointing and good for us all at the same time. <laughs> um, and then we, we kind of rearrange some stuff in our suitcase because we fly out again tomorrow, but do not fret. I'm going to continue the vlog on. We will have Alani day two tomorrow. We are here until about 1 or 2 p.m. before we head to Honolulu Airport and we do some island hopping to head to Kauai. So we'll see y'all tomorrow. Good morning, Alani. We have a half a day here. It's so beautiful and quiet out. You can hear all the birds. I love this. Here's the view of the valley, all the different areas. Man, that lazy river looks so pretty. It is day two of our 24 hour Alani whirlwind adventure. We just called Bell Services to pick up our bags. It's 7 a.m. We are gonna head down to the pool so you can't leave your pool chairs till eight. So we're gonna just kind of camp out and pick out some good seats and then head to breakfast, but Bell Services is here. <clears throat> we are just kind of hanging out for today. Oh, I see AJ down here getting our chairs. So like I said, we are going to grab breakfast. We're gonna go to the Olelo room because they have coffee and malasadas. And then we'll probably grab a little bit of a bigger breakfast at Ulu Cafe, but I'll show you guys around all the, the eats and treats. So the last view from our balcony and AJ is right down here getting a spot for the day. But man, I will miss these views. We, we really need to come back and for a while. Five, five, seven days a while. No more of this one to two day business. I think the elevator music at Alani is one of my favorite things. This one's not shocking because it's actually from Lilo and Stitch, but I love all the Disney, Disney music. I never thought I would be a person that was like, oh, we gotta go to Hawaii, Hawaii, Hawaii. I get it now. It's kind of like cruising. Never thought I'd be a cruiser. Yet here I am. And now like, I'm already thinking about the next time we can come back to the islands. And not just Alani, like I really want to go back to Hilo. So Minnie is meeting at Makahiki today instead of Goofy. I'm not jealous at all that we got Goofy last time. I saw earlier this week that it was Minnie in like the main um, kitchen photo spot and then the chipmunks. How do I get to the pool? I always get so lost. But, oh well. Okay, I found the walkway to the pool. One day, I will know the lay of the land a little bit better. <laughs> One day. So at the Oleo room in the morning, they have malasadas, coffees, and cocktails. The coffee is self-serve, cream and sweeteners, 
ready for you. Perfect to sit by the pool waiting for it to open. The patio where the live music was last night is where Mickey meets. So you'll see Mickey before you go in to breakfast next door. Goofy's back there cooking, but you get your meet and greet with Mickey. You have to be a guest who's dining with a reservation in order to go meet Mickey at this location. So we have morning coffee by the pool. And we have malasadas. We had these last time when we had breakfast at Makahiki. Uh, the malasadas here, to me, is more like a traditional donut. Like there's something texturally different about the donuts. Here's the thing. When we came to this island last time, we, I think, made the strategic mistake of going to Leonard's first, which are the most amazing malasadas. So then there's no way the malasadas here we're going to compare. But these are really good malasadas. Right. So that's what I... So texturally, they're different. I feel like there's something about the dough that's different from the malasadas we had at Leonard's versus the malasadas they have here. Here, I just, again, it's like a big donut with no hole in the middle. It's what it feels like to me. We have like a half an hour before the pool opens. Chairs are filling up all around us. We're now surrounded. So it's, it's uh, getting busy out here. So it is eight o'clock and I looked at AJ and said, there's like no one in the lazy river. Probably the quietest it's gonna be all day. The line to get towels right now is probably 30 to 40 people deep. So, one thing we learned last time was to get our wristbands and towels the night before. So, that way in the morning, once 8 o'clock hits, you're ready to go. And you could be the only ones in the lazy river instead of in line. Well, we did what, three laps? Three and a half, really. Three and a half laps around the Lazy River, all before 9 a.m. Finishing my coffee, and then we're headed to Ulu Cafe to have a little bit more of a more substantial breakfast, other than just one malasada. <laughs> but man, that was the move. When I looked around and I was like, it's 8.05 and no one's in the Lazy River yet. First one's eight. That was the move, to hop in early, go around, 8 a.m., 7 p.m., that's what you said. Yeah, yeah, I dig it. Ulu Cafe is the quick service and grab-and-go location at the resort. For breakfast, there are many items to select from, from breakfast sandwiches, breakfast flatbreads, French toast, a breakfast platter, acai bowls, steel-cut oat bowls, and of course, kids' meals. They have fresh-cut fruit, and the yogurt parfait that they serve at Makahiki for $10. There's also a chia pudding for $14. There are grab-and-go beverages, salads, hard-boiled eggs, even alcohol, but the treats, that's where it's at. There are different pastries, dessert bars, Rice Krispie treats, and cupcakes. The muffins looked fresh and quite tasty, and the coffee cake was something that also stuck out. This is also where you can purchase resort mugs. Now resort mugs are good for the length of your stay and you can fill them at any Coke freestyle machine or coffee station as many times as you'd like. The standard mug is $22.95 and the stainless steel mug is $34.95. You can also find packaged cereals, chips and treats, and of course, this is your one-stop shop for Mickey ice cream. Just outside the Loop Cafe, they have two ice machines. Ice. I'm gonna walk over to the Coke Freestyle machines. 
and then they have iced tea, hot water, and then all the little condiments, toaster if you buy a bagel and stuff inside. So we ordered breakfast and I'm sitting here waiting for the food to come out and they bring all the food out and call it by name and Ivy went to go find this chair somewhere back the way. So I'll go find it in a minute. We got a breakfast wrap and a breakfast flatbread uh, to share and then Ivy wanted to pick up a reusable bag. Um, so we'll see how breakfast is but everything in there looks really good. So we will definitely be back for dinner on a future visit. So here is our breakfast flatbread. It's Portuguese sausage, eggs, and cheese. That looks quite tasty. And then we got the wrap, which is like a breakfast burrito. We have some salsa. Ooh, it's hot. Uh, bacon, avocado, eggs, and cheese. So we're gonna share these. Here's our breakfast pizza. That's tasty. It's very cheesy. But the flatbread base is really nice. So I bet the afternoon flatbreads are really good too. Well, that breakfast was surprisingly delicious. I think AJ and I both said we could have um, just shared the flatbread or the wrap. We definitely didn't eat both. We didn't eat all of both, especially since we had the malasadas this morning. Um, but I think like sharing something like that is a great way that we could challenge our not spend as much money at Alani for the next trip thought process. But you don't know what you don't know. So we are still learning. This is only technically our fourth day at Alani ever. <laughs> so bringing you along for all of the lessons. <laughs> Yesterday we showed you our lunch with a poolside menu, but today I wanted to show you other options on the pool deck. In the center of the pools you can find Mama's Snack Shop, and they're known for their coconut shrimp, but they have other fried fish options, chicken strips, and snacks. Next to Mama's Snack Shop is where you can find the classic Mickey Shaved Ice. You select your shaved ice choice, and of course pay the extra $1 for mouse ears. After you pay, you select your flavors. And across the way is the gift shop, the Lava Shack. Next to the entrance, you can find a Coke Freestyle machine, perfect for those resort mugs and without having to walk all the way to the Ulu Cafe. After a little regroup and reset, we, uh, we hung out by the pool for a little bit. And now the character schedule has been posted. So I'm gonna go meet my girl, Daisy Duck. AJ is still just reading by the pool. Hello, Daisy, how are you? You look so fabulous. Like we both have hats, sun protection's important. Yes, it is. My little dress, thank you so much. Meeting Daisy was so fun. She's so cute. Took some great photos, so I'm so happy about that. Um, there's a couple more characters today. I'm gonna try to squeeze in before we leave, but there's like the overlap of time of when we also have access to the room to go shower in. So we're gonna see what we can make happen today. It is 12.30, it's a little breezy out, and we are in line to meet Mickey Mouse. This is the last character spot uh, we're gonna do for kind of like our morning run. We're gonna go to Bell Services, grab our luggage, and then go on over to the lounge room. I can't remember what it's called, but I'll show you where uh, you can sign up to use the space to shower and get ready. Um, so we're gonna do that before we head to the airport today. One of the things that I really love about Alani is they have all of the characters listed on the app. So at nine o'clock every day, you can look at the app, see who's out, when, make your game plan. And then uh, like today, the line for Daisy started way early. So we decided to get in line for Mickey about 15 minutes early just to make sure we had um, space and time and all that stuff to meet Mickey. Hi Mickey! Well we got our luggage. We are heading to the Lu Luano? Luana Lounge. We're gonna go shower, change, and hit the road. 
man, one night. The perfect taste, but not long enough. I'm glad that we had been here previously so we were able to game plan a little better today. We knew a little bit more of the lay of the land. Picked great chairs that stayed in the shade the whole time we were out there. Oh, so good. Our elevator has a mini hoony in it. We really need to do like a mini hoony hunt. We need to spend more than one day here. Oh, stop it, I know. Located next door to the community hall, you will find the Luana Lounge. To use this lounge, you go to the front desk on the day of checkout. And go early because there are a limited number of guests per time slot. There are tables, chairs, and TVs, along with a locker room set up with showers, towels, and blow dryers. It's perfect if you're catching a flight after a pool day. We're waiting to meet Minnie Mouse. Look at how cute she is. Well, we just met Minnie. Uh, there's such mixed feelings because I'm so sad to leave, but we also like have almost a whole week of vacation still and uh, seeing things in the world that's not Disney. <laughs> Wild, I know. Um, so like I'm excited still, but I'm so sad. What, isn't there a movie line? Like, I'm a glass case of emotions. There, there is Will Ferrell and Anchorman. If you know me, not a movie girl. I'm shocked that you knew that. <laughs> well, friends, that is it from our 24 hour stay at Alani. That's a wrap. It was short, but I also feel like we did a lot. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed what we brought you again. We learned some new things. We did some of our favorites from last time, and we've said it time and time again. I'm really looking forward to a chance to come back for five plus days at a time, really explore the resort, do a lot of the activities, um, and just kind of enjoy some more island time. But that is it from Alani. We are headed to Kauai, so if you want to check out those videos, those will be coming next, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye.